This is the Louis T. Network. In the lab room. Five minutes or less. New Orleans Saints. Welcome, you are in the lab room. I'm your host, Lou. Thank you for joining me here on this program. Come on in, shut the door. Five minute or less series, 2014 schedule release of the New Orleans Saints. You know where I like to start when I do this? Primetime games. And we're talking about the Saints. We're talking about Drew Brees. We're talking about Sean Payton. We're talking about a revamped defense. We're talking about a five-star football team. If you don't think they're a five-star football team, you need to wash your face. Get your mind right. And these are the New Orleans Saints. And they're playing some good football. And they're the only five-star football team in this division. So wear that distinction with pride. You look at their slate. Week 9 at Carolina on Thursday night. That's going to be a heck of a football game. Heck of a football game against a team that beat you out for that division. And so you got to go to Carolina, find a way to get it done on primetime. That should be some good football. Sign me up for some family business on primetime TV. You look at Sunday night football, week four at Dallas. Remember, you had Dallas on Sunday night. Last year, you stomped a mud hole in these boys. They didn't forget about that. And so you got to come out with that same aggression, that same attitude, and take it to the Cowboys once again on Sunday night football, week four. You are at Dallas. You look at week eight. You're home for Green Bay on Sunday night football. That's going to be a big matchup. Two of the premier quarterbacks in the league, and Aaron Rodgers and Drew Brees, if both are healthy, that's going to be one heck of a game. Can't wait to watch that one. That's a Bart Scott. Can't wait. You look at Monday night football, week 12 versus Baltimore. That's going to be tough. The Ravens, they're getting better on defense. That offense slow to come along. They've made some adjustments, some improvements to this roster. We'll see how the Baltimore Ravens are in week 12. That's going to be a good football game. Nonetheless, Ravens coming to your place on Monday night football, week 12. Week 15, you're at the Chicago Bears. The Bears are going to be at home. Alshon, Jeffrey, Brandon, uh, Marshall, Jay Cutler, the whole crew, Matt Forte. That's going to be an explosive football game. You're at Soldier Field. What more do I need to say? That's going to be a really good contest right there on Monday night. And so this Saints football team, five-star football team here in the Saints. You move on to the divisional games, and that's where it's at. I mean, the primetime games are nice. But this is where your bread is buttered. This is where you're going to make your profound statement. If you want to win this division, guess what? You got to take care of the family business in this division. And so you look at the Atlanta Falcons. Fell on hard times last year. You can't expect the Falcons to be that bad again. Week 16, you got them at home. Late in the season, good to have a game at home against these Falcons late in the season. But that comes with a price. Week 1. Right out the gate, you got to go to Atlanta. Remember last year, they came to your place week one and you were able to get a huge victory with a huge goal line stand late in that game. Well, now you got to go to Atlanta week one. We can see if the tables turn here and they're able to get a huge win in week one. We'll see. You got to stop them from doing that. You got to go to the Georgia Dome week number one. You look at Carolina week 14, you are at home. So another late season game at home within a division. You will take it. And remember, Carolina took this division from you late in the season last year with a win at home. So now you get to return that favor. Week 14, Panthers are at your place. Week number nine, talked about that. Primetime game, Thursday night. You got to go to Carolina. BOA, try to get a W. Going to be tough. You weren't able to do it last year. But last year is last year, and that's in the past. You're going to try to strap it up and get you one on the road against Carolina on primetime week number nine. You look at Tampa Bay. This is a different team this year. And so I don't know who they are. You don't know who they are. All you can do is go out and try to take care of business. Week five, you get your first opportunity to do so at home versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You were able to beat these Buccaneers last season two times, once in Tampa Bay, once at home. Going to try to do that again. Week 17, you got to go out to Tampa Bay and get it done. We'll see if you're able to do that because, again, tough place to play. They know you, you know them. By week 17, you'll know who the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are. Everyone will know who the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are. And so you've got to try to take care of business against this Buccaneers team on the road, week 17. That could be for the division. 
Not saying that the Buccaneers are going to be in the discussion, but that could be you needing that game to beat out the Falcons, to beat out the Panthers, or even this Buccaneers team for that division. That could be a huge game with playoff implications. You look at anomalies. These are stretches in the schedule that stand out to me. Three out of four on the road or at home. Four out of five home or on the road. Three straight on the road. Three straight at home. Four on the road. Four straight on uh, your turf. Whatever the case may be. Game in London. Those are anomalies to me. You look at this slate. And the Saints have anomalies all over the place. Starting with the home anomaly. Four out of five at home. That is a beautiful stretch of football. If you're a Saints fan, your team is going to be playing in the Superdome four times in a five-week stretch. You got to take full advantage of that. And inside of that four out of five game stretch at home, you got three consecutive home games in there. So look, you got to find a way to take care of business at home if you are the New Orleans Saints. And this is weeks 10 through 14. So we're talking about that mid-season to the late portion of the season stretch of football. That is beautiful if you are the New Orleans Saints. Now, again, because you're getting this, you know somewhere along the line, you got to pay for it in the way of an away anomaly. And here it is. Three out of four, right out of the box. First week of the season to week four. So the first month of the season, you got three out of four games on the road. You got to be road warriors coming out of the box. If you can do your work early, get some wins on the road, it'll really pay off huge tenfold later on down the line when you get four out of five at home later in the season so you look at your bye week week number six solid bye not the worst bye not the best either you'll take it and you'll run with it week six bye and then mark your calendar games for me it's pretty simple here week number one at atlanta you got to circle the calendar you got to mark your calendar with that game because that is one that could have some huge ramifications down the line. We saw what that game did to the Falcons last year. It really hurt them moving forward. And you were able to thrust yourself into the NFC South category as one of the better teams. And so that's going to be a huge game that you got to try to get on the road. And then week nine at Carolina, the primetime matchup on the road, you got to exercise some demons. Last year, the Panthers were able to get you at home at Bank of America Stadium, they were able to beat you. You have to go on the road and show these guys that they don't have an advantage over you on the road. And so you got to go and take care of business on primetime television against these Carolina Panthers. And so I wanted to say that was it, but I think I need a timeout. Give me a timeout. Timeout. Timeout, timeout, timeout. Remember when you were a kid and you were playing tag and just as you were about to be tagged, You'd call timeout. No, you no, I'm not it. I call timeout. Remember that? Well, Saints, I'm calling this timeout because last year you had a golden opportunity to win the division. It was right there for you. You did your work early and, and you beat Carolina at home like you were supposed to. And then you lay an egg on the road against St. Louis. You lose that Carolina and you lose the division. Here's an opportunity for you to make amends for what you did last season. Three of your four last matchups in 2014 are within the division, two of which are at home. Week 14, you're home for Carolina. Week 16, you're home for Atlanta. Week 17, you're at Tampa Bay. That's the stretch of football that's either going to win you this division or finish you off as a second place team or ensure that you don't make the postseason at all we'll see what you do just remember if you want to be elite and you want to call yourself the nfc south champions then you gotta go and get it done in crunch time and that stretch of football the last month of the season is exactly what i call crunch time three divisional games in a month's time good luck you're going to need it Time in. And that's going to do it for the New Orleans Saints in five minutes or less. While you're here, go ahead and sub up. In the lab room.